Hi friends, in this video I am going to discuss Applied Physics Part 2. Applied Physics Part 2. Acoustics of Buildings. Acoustics of Buildings. What is meant by Acoustics? Acoustics means uh, nothing but it is a branch of physics. It is a branch of physics to study the propagation of sounds. It is a branch of physics to study the propagation of sounds. Here in the acoustics, first term is echo. First term is echo. What is meant by echo? Echo is nothing but it is the first reflected sound is known as echo. The first reflected, the first reflected sound is known as echo. And this echo depends upon the following following factors. It the echo de depends upon good reflector of sound. It depends upon reflector of sound and maximum surface area of the reflector maximum surface area of the reflector and next one the distance of the reflector from the source of sound the distance of reflector from the source of sound and next term reverberation reverberation it is nothing but uh, the effect of multiple reflections is called as reverberation the effect of multiple reflections is called reverberation okay as the result of this uh, reflections as the result of this reflection the listener continues to receive the sound even if the source of sound is cut off that means due to this reverberation or uh, due to this uh, multiple reflection if the source of sound is uh, cut off also uh, the listener continues to receive the signal continues to receive the sound signal that means uh, after cut offing source sound also uh, source sound also the listener receives sound and the what is the reverberation time reverberation time that is the time taken by the sound intensity decreased by a factor of 10 power minus 6 is known as reverberation time reverberation time that means it is a time taken by sound intensity decreases by a factor of 10 power 6 is known as reverberation time that means after reverberation time the listener cannot receive the sound the listener cannot receive the sound that means after uh, this reverberation time the reverberation is disappears the re reverberation is disappears and uh, the sabine has given one formula to the reverberation time that is t equal to 0 0.17 v by epsilon a s r 0. Point, in the place of 0. 0.17 there is sum of uh, test books follows uh, 0. 0.16 sum of test books given 0. 0.16 some test books given 0. 0.17 uh, so uh, both are correct uh, because of there is a less difference in their formulas so t equal to 0. 0.17 v by epsilon a s here v is the volume of the room v is the volume of the room and a is the absorption coefficient a is the absorption coefficient and s is the area of the material and s is the area of the material and what is the reverberation time the time taken by the sound well the sound in uh, the time taken by the sound intensity decreases by factor of 10 power minus 6 is known as reverberation time after this reverberation time uh, the reverberation will be disappears and the subend has given the formula for this reverberation time that is t equal to 0 0.17 v by epsilon a s and next one and the room which is zero reverberation time is called dead room the room which has d zero reverberation time is called as dead room okay and once again what is uh, echo echo means first reflected sound is known as echo and re what is reverberation means it is the effect of multiple reflections it is the effect of multiple reflections and reverberation time is nothing but t equal to 0 0.17 v by epsilon a s and the room which has a zero zero reverberation time is called dead room dead room and next topic vibrations next topic vibrations that means vibrations vibrations are mainly two types two types they are free vibrations and forced vibrations free vibrations and forced vibrations what are the free vibrations 
the wave the vibrations of any body with its natural frequency is called free vibrations the vibrations of any body with its natural frequency are called as free vibration that means uh, the free vibrations are made by natural frequency natural frequency are uh, of uh, any body any body and next forced vibrations the forced vibrations the vibrations of any body with a frequency induces vibrations on another vibrating agent these uh, vibrations on another vibrating agent are known as forced vibrations that is the vibrations of any body with a frequency induces vibrations uh, with a frequency induces vibrations on another vibrating agent are called forced vibrations and the next term is resonance resonance is nothing but when these forced vibrations equal to when this uh, when this forced vibrations are equal to natural frequency of the vibration that is when the forced vibrations is equal to free vibrations then uh, the body vibrates with the maximum amplitude then the body vibrates with maximum amplitude thus that phenomena is known as resonance that phenomena is known as resonance when the forced vibrations equal to natural frequency of the vibration that is what is the natural frequency of vibrations nothing but free vibrations uh, equal to free vibrations then the body vibrates with maximum amplitude this phenomena is called resonance resonance and loss of vibrations in stretched string loss of vibrations in stretched string that is we know that the, uh, for this uh, stretched string the frequency n equal to 1 by 2l into root t by m n equal to 1 by 2l into root t by m what is the first law for this first law n is pro n is universally proportional to with length when t and m are when t and m are constant when t and m are constant here l means length here t means tension and m means linear density linear density what is the first law first for the first law when t and m are constant that means tension and linear density are constant the n is proportional to length the length is proportional to 1 by length that is n is inversely proportional to the length that is first law n is inversely proportional to the length when tension and linear density are constant for what is the second law in the, in the case of second law that is l length and linear density are constant if length and linear density are constant the n is proportional to square of t the n is proportional to square of t when length and linear density are constant what is the third law this third law is when l and t that means length and tension are constant then n is inversely proportional to the square root of square root of linear density that is m n is proportional to 1 by root m when length and tension are constant when length and tension are constant and the sometimes regarding to this uh, vibrations of strings uh, nodes are formed at fixed ends at fixed ends nodes are formed and uh, at free ends anti nodes are formed and the frequency is the minimum frequency with uh, which the string vibrates n equal to 1 by 2l into root t by m n equal to 1 by tl into root t by m and once again what are the vibration vibrations are uh, two types free vibrations forced vibrations free vibrations are nothing but uh, uh, due to natural frequency and forced vibrations are due to nothing but uh, induces vibrations on another vibrating string these are forced frequencies whenever this free vibrations is equal to forced vibrations then the uh, the body vibrates with the maximum amplitude that phenomena is called resonance there are mainly three laws uh, in case of uh, vibrations on stretched string it is uh, uh, first one in n is pro inversely proportional to length and n is uh, proportional to square root of tension and n is uh, inversely proportional to square root of uh, uh, linear const linear density linear density okay and next topic beats next topic beats when two progressive sound waves of nearly equal frequencies when two progressive sound waves of nearly equal frequencies n1 and n2 traveling in the same direction they combined they combined and beats are produced and beats are produced that means 
when two progressive sound waves of nearly equal frequency is traveling in the same direction they will combine and the, these beats are produced and the combined wave frequency the combined wave frequency is average that is n1 plus n2 by 2 and the beat frequency is n1 minus n2 and the beat frequency is n1 minus n2 that means uh, it is very less value because uh, n1 and n2 are nearly equal but they are not exactly equal they are nearly equal so uh, the difference between these frequencies is, is uh, nothing but beat frequency that means that beats are uh, traveled with this frequency okay and one maximum one minimum sound constitute a beat one maximum one minimum sound constitute a beat and a person can identify 10 beats per second a person can identify only 10 beats per second okay and intensity of wave and intensity of wave the intensity of wave nothing but average energy propagated by the wave per second per unit area perpendicular to the direction of propagation unit area perpendicular to the direction of propagation and that means the intensity of wave is given by I equal to p naught square by 2 dv that means uh, the intensity of wave is proportional to the amplitude square is proportional to the amplitude square and the intensity of the sound wave the intensity of sound at a distance from the source i is proportional to 1 by distance square 1 by distance square 1 by distance square and the units of this intensity of wave is nothing but watt per meter square very very important the unit of intensity of wave is uh, watt per meter square and intensity levels and intensity levels the intensity levels measured in uh, db measured in dbs the intensity level beta equal to 10 log i by i naught 10 log i by i naught that is uh, in dbs and the echo and original sound differ in this intensity of sound the echo and original sound are different in the intensity of sound and the loudness lo very very important bit this loudness loudness is measured in fan loudness is measured in fan okay and one more important uh, concept is doppler effect doppler effect doppler effect the apparent change observed in the sound produced by a source due to relative motion between the observer and the source is called doppler effect that is n equal to v minus v naught by v minus v s the apparent change observed the apparent change observed in the sound produced by a source due to relative motion between observer and source due to rela relative motion between observer and source is called doppler effect what uh, what are the applications of this doppler effect it is nothing but this doppler effect uses in many aspects that is first one it is uh, accurate navigation of aircraft and target bombing it is mainly used in accurate navigation now in, in case of navigation of aircraft this doppler effect is mainly used and the target bombing that means uh, by targeting the bomb also it is uh, doppler effect is used and next one to measure velocity of stars to measure velocity of stars also it is used and to measure the automobile speeds by police and to measure the rotation of sun to measure the rotation of sun and to track uh, the earth artificial satellite to tra to track the earth artificial satellite okay this is a doppler effect and next one some important bits uh, regarding to this waves to sounds and acoustics sound waves are nothing but i already told uh, sound waves are nothing but longitudinal light waves are nothing but transverse and velocity of sound in vacuum or in the moon is zero is zero and the echo and original sound is different in intensity of sound i already explained the echo and the original sound differ in intensity of sound and measurement in fawn measurement in fawn fawn is nothing but measurement of loudness very very important fawn is nothing but measurement of loudness measurement in fawn is equal to measurement of decimal at a frequency of 1000 hedges at frequency of 1000 hedges the fawn is equal to decibel 
ओके एंड एकोस आर अरेज फ्रम रिफ्लेक्शन रिफ्लेक्शन एंड द मल्टीपल आफ रिफ्लेक्शन वाट आर डेवलप मल्टीपल आफ रिफ्लेक्शन रिवर्बरेशन ईज डेवलपड ओके एंड बीट फिनामिना इज ड्यू टू इंटरफर आफ सौ इंटरफर आफ सौ बीट बीट हाउ द बीट्स आर डेवलपड बिकाज आफ विन द टू फ्रीक्वेन्सी आर् ट्रावल इन ए सेम प्रापगेशन दिन बीट्स आर् डेवलपड This phenomena is due to interference of sound. That means uh, the interference of that uh, two frequency sounds, uh, the beats will be developed. And velocity of sound is greater in solids. Very very important. Velocity of sound is greater in solid. That is a uh, example of solid. That is nothing but metals. So velocity of sound is greater in solids. And ultrasonic sounds are produced by utilizing piezoelectric effect. I already told in first class of physics, ultrasonics are produced utilizing piezoelectric effect, and an absorption coefficient of open window, an absorption coefficient of open window is one. An absorption coefficient of open window is one. Okay, thank you, friends. In next video, I will discuss remaining parts of uh, physics. Okay, okay, thank you.